piece of television history as the Nine Network presents the final episode of Midday with Kerry Ann. Presenting a star-studded lineup of fabulous guests. Now, please welcome the star of Midday, Kerry Ann Kennelly. Good, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What is it? Oh, the 27th of November 1998, and welcome to the final of, I think, ooh, approximately 5,000 episodes of Midday. And it's just terrific to have you with us, all of you who've uh, very kindly come in to join us. Isn't it lucky you booked today because next week's not so good? <laughs> uh, it, it really is a milestone for midday as it reaches the, the end of the road. Our last show after a run of 26 years, which started with Mike Walsh back in 1973. That was the year, in fact, the Queen officially opened the Sydney Opera House. Gala Supreme won the Melbourne Cup. And the hit song of the year was Tie a Yellow Ribbon. <laughs> remember that? I, 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 I remember that. I, I can't remember that song. How did it go? It was a bit, my father told me about that song. That was... And in fact, 73, that was two years before television, colour television came in. Although certainly I think I've made up with it a few outfits I've worn over the time. Um, and you, you'd need to be a rocket scientist, folks, to, to work out how many guests, how many performers have appeared on this program. And uh, just working on a fairly conservative figure of 10 per show that comes to a staggering 52,000. You imagine, uh, over those years, 52,000. No, um, no wonder Jeff's aged. <laughs> Even on the last day, she's cruel. <laughs> Go on, tell us some more facts. And you know, it does, that doesn't include the animals. Oh, remember the animal, the dogs? Uh, the, yeah, the cats, the, the camels, the elephants, the goats, the monkeys, the wombats. The wombats? No. Um, uh, <laughs> my dogs, the snakes, uh, crocodiles. In fact, if it, if it barks, if it meows, roars, me hisses, snorts, growls, or whittles, it's been here. <laughs> um, especially if it whittles. Uh, musically, as well, we've figured out, you know, we did these figures this morning, Jeff. We figured out Jeff and the band have been involved in something like 21,000 musical numbers. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, the vast majority, of course, being opportunities for our homegrown talent, Australian talent, to be showcased on national TV. Well, that's something that we will always 
be very, very proud of. But today is not a sad day, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a sad day about the loss of a show, but today is a day we want to remember and be proud of what a wonderful contribution that the Midday Show has made to Australian television. So today we thank you, Australia. You've been so good to me, especially in the last few years, but to... <laughs> I'll say it again. Uh, <laughs> but especially Australia to you, the loyal supporters who have been with the program over so many years. And we're going to have lots of fun. We've got great memories. We've got faces who've been very much a part of the show. And of course, always there's the wonderful music. And just look at that band. It's so exciting to see live television bands like this. It just doesn't happen all the time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a bang folks and Jeff's got this one nailed and we're going to get our final show on the road with a singer a dancer actor star of stage and screen all round great girl talented girl great friend as well and I couldn't say how delighted I am to have her on our last show for midday please welcome Rhonda Birchmore <laughs> That's Silly. wonderful. What there a play are. on. Isn't that nice? Yes. Well, you have been here for the lot. Do you remember how many? Uh, about, well, it must be about 5,000, I suppose. Um, I had one off when I, um, I did something. I got uh, gout. And that was the only, uh, terrible gout, but awful. Mm. And that was the only one I had off, apart from that. Um, it was only recently, too. Yeah, it was, too. Your, your favourite memorable moments? Ever on the show. Mm. Well, we were outside, you see, and there was this swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, this is my happy moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember it well. <laughs> oh, and watch him bolt. <laughs> it's funny, nobody wants... <laughs> Nobody wanted that frock after that. that. It was a good one too, wasn't it? it uh, no, that was that was the, the good fun. But I mean, some of the great people we've had on. I mean, the superb. Um, Don McLean. We actually played American Pie with Don, Don McLean mm. down there. Can you imagine that magnificent after all these years superb. and all those you know terrific acts? Really wonderful. I, and I know a lot of my outfits have sometimes uh, been conversation pieces on the show, uh, but you, for me, have a personal moment. The, the, uh, you dressed up as the office sleeves. We were doing a moment, a little fashion parade, and this is a vision of you I shall <laughs> really never forget. I'll cherish this moment. Again, I really want to say uh, thank you very much because you're all really busy people, but to spare time to come and say thank you to oh, our audience oh. after how many years, and especially for my little, I only had a small contribution for the last few years, but to say thank you to Australia, you have, um, and you continue to mean a lot to Australia, and I just want to thank you for making me enjoy my day. You oh, are. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. And all of you have had a share, and isn't it a great and fabulous show to do? Yes, yes, yes indeed. PJ sent the message. This is her new boyfriend, my oh, son. Oh, right. Boy, yes. PJ sent a message. He's, he wrote out a poem for you, and it's just two lines. He said, she came in like a breath of fresh air, but she's going out with a chin in the air. Oh. Yeah. I've lost count. How many times have you appeared on the Midday Show? Uh, we counted them up on the way over here. This is our 13th time. 13th? That... Yes. Uh, oh, oh, look, look, that, look. And that's the first. Oh, <laughs> wow. Now, and how, when was this? That was in about 1991. Great show for us as well, and, and your support has been wonderful. Well, you, you know how talented I think you are, and I know what a success um, you'll continue to be, and I just want to thank you for your contribution. Pleasure. Thank you. We've actually never, we've never been able to dedicate a song to anyone on Midday before, but so we t take the opportunity today, we want to dedicate this song to you. Oh, of course. <laughs> Can I, will I sit down then? Yeah, sit down. Yeah, oh, sit down. You, you send me, you send me, darling. Personally speaking for a moment, I have had the absolute time of my life. I do not know where three years has gone so quickly. It's, uh, it's not called the best job in television for nothing. So I think it's only appropriate we look back at some of the highlights of the past three years. But let's do the makeover anyway. <laughs> Don't be afraid, I'm going to do some teasing of your hair. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you knew this. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Try time. You ain't never but a hound dog. sets of hamstring muscles, they bring two of them to the front, and oh, hell, shit. together uh, once before uh, when I was doing a series called It Takes a Thief. That's when I, well that isn't when I met Stephanie. I met Stephanie before that when she was just a little girl. I picked her up out of her crib, <laughs> you know, put her over my shoulder and patted her on my... It's so cute. Mm -hmm. I threw up all over this. I was told you have the best butt in the world. These are deep questions. Um, you know, again, I, I don't pay much attention to anything like that. You know, I look like a dog chasing his tail trying to look, so it doesn't matter. 
make much sense to me. Everything's a fear if it's something you have to think twice about rather than trusting that God-given thing inside you to just do it. You and don't we have all that fear have... of eating anymore, do you? Because look at you, you look well, so spectacular. Got... <laughs> look well, at you. Well, I, ha... I am now, but you know, inside of me, there's still a hog trying to get out. <laughs> so I don't take nothing for granted either. <laughs> think, I wonder what sort of President of the United States Charlton Heston would make? I've been President of the United States three times. <laughs> For heaven's sake, she didn't. How could she not know that? The, the, the video of Barnum. I always think I'm going to fall off the wall. <laughs> See, I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> Just being this close is very exciting. To feel that, yeah. What are you doing? Very what are you doing good. after the show, darling? <laughs> He passed away halfway through the show. They rushed the paramedics in and the security in, as they always do in showrooms in Las Vegas, and uh, they were going to take him out. And she said, no, no, no. He came here to see this show. And they stayed till the end of the show. He stayed there dead? Yes. <laughs> How did... <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> See the lack of principle getting me in here on, on a false What pretenses. you couldn't make a decision an I hour ago on how, I could how walk, you want I to could be walk perceived. out, but, but do well, you go think... on your bike. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Bernard, Bernard, how are you? Oh, so we back. <laughs> so fire me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, Hello, my darling. Ooh, lovely to see you. Actually, I've really, really been looking forward to this because this is the third part. Uh, Bernard King, of course. When you, think, when you think of Chrissy, you've got to think of uh, the Christmas Barbie and Bernard King and the Bernadettes. Thank you very much. You named them. They came to join you. <laughs> and, and Rowdy Yates, um, our floor manager, I'm sorry, Rowdy, it wasn't your fault. I take complete, uh, <laughs> complete responsibility. You know, Fine, Rowdy, you may, you may find this surprising. I wasn't listening to you. Oh, <laughs> So what's new after the last three years? <laughs> Rowdy has saved my life more times in the last three years and I had to let you down on the last day. I'm sorry, Rowdy, but You're welcome, here, my welcome, darling. welcome. And, Lovely. and welcome, and oh, look who's standing in the wings, the wonderful Barry Crocker. Come on, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Benza, 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 I brought some flowers for you because I knew that you love flowers and there's probably no one's thought of giving you flowers today. <laughs> no flowers right. today, darling. Can I just say Good one you. thing? Mm. I, I was born in Wollongong. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome back and this is just about our final edition of Midday. There's so many people to thank and shortly I want to introduce you to the people who drove the program over so many years and have been so helpful to me personally. But uh, the people who are really important are you out there. Doesn't matter whether I've been in a taxi or in a queue, hanging about somewhere. Sometimes if you feel uh, a little tired, if you feel a bit down, it's nice to know that the real people of the world actually care and enjoy what you do. And I think uh, on behalf of Jeff and I, this is for you, Australia. And I never thought I'd feel this way. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm glad I've got the chance. That I do believe I love you And now For the times we'll be apart Just close your eyes I know these words Are coming from my heart Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me, for sure. That's what friends are for, through good times and bad times, are oh, you being my
it uh, is time to draw uh, this era to a, a close. Um, I only say how proud and privileged I've been to be part of the, uh, the last three years. Uh, I'm only, as I said, uh, out the front of the most magnificent team. It is a difficult time. Not everybody agrees with the decision, uh, but that is now history. We work with such a talented group of people that uh, everyone will go forward. They will produce more great material. They will have a great life in whatever their chosen careers and uh, areas of expertise will be. Australia, you have been fantastic to us. Uh, I personally thank you very much, but uh, people like Kerry Roberts, who have produced stories like when we went to New York with uh, Madonna, uh, Sir Clifford uh, Richard last weekend. They're the driving force behind entertainment as well as Anne Habeck, who organised all the talent. And I don't want to really go through everybody because I know I'll be embarrassed at the end when, when I forget. Uh, Lyndall Marks, our executive producer, um, who's, who's had to... Um, and you do that, I, I, I don't know. You're do that, aren't there's you? just something about I've never done this, and, I, and something tells me something, something tells me I'm never going to win a Grand Prix. <laughs>